Hi there, and welcome back to 30 Days of Prayer for Our Children. We are now in the home stretch. We are beginning the last third of our 30 Days of Prayer. So as you recall, the first 10 days we spent praying for our children in relation to God. The second section was the next 10 days, and we focused on our children kind of in relation to self or like the things that we wanted to see cultivated in them or springing out of them. And now in the next section, we're going to focus for these next 10 days on our children in relation to others. And that all begins with the greatest commandment. When Jesus was asked, what is the greatest command? He didn't hesitate. They were trying to trip him up. But, you know, he said, the greatest command is love God with all of your heart and love others. It's so simple. And it might be simple, but in case you hadn't noticed, it's not easy because people are hard to love. That includes me. That includes you. We are all terribly fallen creatures and we are difficult to love at times. Sometimes we're easy to love, but other times it's hard and we are called to love others all the time. So our kids need prayer for this. And I think in the me center world that we live in, they're not taught this unless you're teaching it at home, unless we are instilling in them to love others, not look down on others, not get enraged at others, not criticize others if they believe differently or look differently. Um, We are, uh, we need to teach that. And beyond that, though, we need to be praying for it. So let's pray today that our children would cultivate a love for others in their lives, that God would really just plant that in them, and that we would be able to help them along in that. And that they would stand out for it, that they would be just so different from what people are used to, that it would just glorify God and and point others to Jesus. Dear God, we confess that we ourselves are not great at loving others all the time. And we know that the greatest command is to love God and to love others. And we just pray that you would give us the ability to model that for our kids as we pray over them, God, to receive the gift of love planted in their hearts for others. First John 4, 19 through 21 says, We love because he first loved us. If anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. And in this commandment we have from him, Whoever loves God must also love his brother. Oh Lord, we pray that our children would love you and that out of that love would spring love for others. Father, we just pray that you would just give them the strength and the ability to be just rise to this impossible task of loving others so well that they would be a light to others and draw them to you through the love that they show. God, we just ask that you would um, protect them from any of the enemy's attempts to divide their relationships through offense or hurt or misunderstanding. Father, that you would guard their hearts, that wellspring of life, and that they would retain the ability to love well, even if they've been hurt by others, that they would be able to love when they're not shown love in return or when they are first treated poorly, that they can respond in love, God, that it would just pour out of them and glorify you in the process. In Jesus' name, amen.